guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. guys here's madame okay and today we will show you how to paint in the style of Cezanne using the palette knife so let us start with the line that will depict where's the ground or our horizon line we start with the path that would lead us into the space right quite wide narrow of course in this section then we will have a house or indication that it will be a house let me see how this one looks like okay here something different there just a little bit of the colors okay and then the roof of course and then we will have some nice trees here coming but the most important is that we will have this nice green space coming here and then coming on the side then we will, have, there will be definitely trees coming here and then some bushes in the front and the tree one like really prominent okay so we will start with the blue color because the blue color is a dominant one in this painting uh, blue and light green i would say and some orange to spice up the combinations and i have a cobalt and with this cobalt i will create the lines in my painting that will somehow bring the energy in the painting so that's what we will have here see and again i'm not worried if for example the color is a little bit too dark then i can always bring some white onto it okay like this and i also noticed that there are some hints of a little bit kind of orange color in it so i will do the same like somewhere here and this is for the contrast to make the artwork more interesting when you look at the pot, it has also some of Naples color in it. So it's truly not even gray as such. They are just the colors everywhere. Okay. So I'll maybe move, let's see, to the pot. Have it done, not too much. I have to move the color and I will go with it on the entire surface. Now the strokes will be more or less horizontal. And notice um, the color moves towards more of Naples color. Because what is happening, Naples is a color that comes from mixing white, uh, yellow ochre, or oxide yellow in acrylics, and then, of course, with some yellow, cadmium yellow. You can also use lemon yellow. So this is good. See how fast. And then the other part that we want to do is grass and the trees and the building, of course. So the building will have the same colors, except it has a little bit more orangey color. So I apply it right away on it. There's just a hint that something is there. A little bit more, especially on the top. So I'm adding those colors here making the section a little bit darker like this fantastic now from the trees so i need the trunk that's that's a must and then my trunk let's see and then everything will be green around so this is good this is good maybe even some of it here and i'm not worried that's a little bit too sharp yeah, that can change later on i can cover it so I will also can create a building here, like you see, there, and bring some of the lighter colors inside. Okay, and we are accustomed to see barn in this shape with a little bit red on the side. So you see, that will be something what we want to read a specific way. Now work with our beautiful green colors, and I suggest that we start with the yellow. And why I want to have yellow, because yellow is very light 
and once it's we have the darker colors it's harder to get with the lighter colors on the top so the greens will change see this is more muddy color on the top and i will use every paint that i have but you see those colors the darker ones i want to create a muddy color i have to use some of my white and then i'll go with the color you see this muddy color here because there has to be difference between the colors right so you see a little bit more of it here i even will bring some blue see and i'm bringing it here and those strokes that's important that's that's his way of working okay that would be my color here i can have a little bit more of the bluish green in the section next to the, to the bar okay like here a little bit more and then I want to have a little bit different yellow yellowish green so this is very light and this will come here see like this like this very very nice okay almost like really yellow in it and to bring the happy color okay and then we'll have a darker again green see the beautiful colors and then we need this darker colors here, so I right away run with it. The same in this section, darker colors. See, right away. I have quite fluid paints. I use tempera paint even. And then I bring some blue into it. So you see the house, I can even show this little bit of green on it. And I need to bring my beautiful tree on it. And you see this build is there, so we see it, but can be too dark, like this. Okay, so then we have some green stuff coming there, and we have this lovely color going there. Let me first establish it here. Yeah, this green, we go into the back, and I want to really bring it here, and then I will develop it. So this also the passage notice on the road of the green. This is characteristic of the roads. The natural roads when nobody cleans them because the green will, will be there. The grass partially and so on. So you see this is bringing the color here. And I think we can bring also a little bit of the this color. Fantastic. So now we want to develop our green. So that's what I'm very, very lavish. See, like this. And then I will use the liberty and I bring darker color in. See, like this. And then I definitely here. Not this. Mm -hmm. Good. Maybe I will put even some windows here. You know what? That will not harm. Window. Right, that indication that something is there. But then, not this little bit of it here on this side here. A little bit darker, like this. Going back here. Another tree could be there. Just moving, moving, moving. And now the light colors. I have this beautiful color that I want to apply here around. And then this is okay. I don't mind it, I just want to mingle it better. And I definitely need this lighter color coming here, but this has to be mixed. And there will be another darker tree. I want to have some blue in it. It's not a boring color. So you see like this, and I, I can bring the trunk later on in it. But notice what is happening. When I start applying here a little bit of the purple, the colors really become very much alive. I also noticed that the artist used some red here, especially next to this yellowish green. And you can use both. You can use this. Okay. And then the richness is coming. I still need more of my colors here. So I'm going with another combination here. And then I need green. And here I will bring some of the blonde like this. See? 
really, really bring in the colors. So one of those things that I really want to do here is to still go in this section and go in with some of the purple and then maybe even with some blue. See, I bring some yellow here in the front and I can still mix those colors because my paint is not dry completely. So that's fantastic. See, bringing it up, I need to still bring some of those beautiful colors here. Just making this vegetation really, really happy. Okay, like this. I still think that we can move a bit there. Let's see, I like the purple here so much that I will use more of it. Wow, and then this section. And I will just go with palette knife and just gently, gently, gently bring some of the colors. Now I'm thinking about the house and I would create the effect that is like a barn. Maybe this part here coming that we know what is in going in the house. I like this house very much with some darker patches. So you see it's just the last Last finishing touches. That's all what we do now. Let me put more of the blue here. And this blue that I use in this section, this is cobalt. See, like this. Look at this painting. I'm happy with this, okay? Not even here even. See, when I add yellow, I just have to be careful that I apply too much. Let me see, since I have plenty of paint left, then I will use it to my advantage just to apply it here and there. And then I can use brown. Well, sometimes you take the risk, we apply something and we don't know how this will look like. Okay, guys, so our painting, is it done? Maybe still a couple of more of those dark patches here and there. See, I think just for accentuation. So ladies and gentlemen, I think our painting is done. I'm quite happy with the results. That means it's done. I wish you a good day and let us meet again next time to paint another subject matter. So until then, work on your own paintings, have lots of fun and see you then. Thank you.